Good day Denarians on the go and in the know. Today it's November 27, 2019. Check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner. Rated the number one exchange planner by Denarians for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. Download your free trial copy today. The link is in the description. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. First article of interest. Parliamentary finance. Approval of the 2020 budget will not face difficulty if this agreement is made. Likely Parliamentary Finance Committee passed the draft fiscal budget for 2020 in the House of Representatives if the final agreement between the governments of Baghdad and the Kurdistan region. Committee member Sherwan Mirza said in a press statement that the delegation of the Kurdistan regional government held two meetings with the federal government and the results of the dialogue were good and there was a rapprochement between them. There is another meeting next week and I think there will be an agreement between the two sides and will be finalized with the preparation of the draft budget law next week. On the importance of the agreement of the federal government and the Kurdistan regional government with the legislation on the budget within the House of Representatives, Mirza said, the agreement will facilitate the budget legislation within the House of Representatives, and this is linked to the opinion of parliamentary blocs and do not imagine that the budget will face difficulties within the House of Representatives if sent to us including the final agreement between the two sides. Next article of interest. Parliamentary source. Baghdad and the region sign next Sunday an agreement on the 2020 budget. A parliamentary source revealed that the federal government and the Kurdistan regional government will sign on Sunday an agreement on the fiscal budget for 2020. The source said in a press statement that it is scheduled to sign Baghdad and the region on Sunday an agreement on the share of the region and the general budget but it is not clear whether the agreement will be on 12, 14 or 17 percent as a share of the region in the budget. For his part, the rapporteur of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Ahmed Safar, that the Kurdistan regional government will send in the next year 250,000 barrels of oil per day to Baghdad and in return Baghdad will send the share of the Kurdistan region of the budget. He added, Next year will be different and the region's share will be sent in full with the sovereign budget and give the region's share of loans received by the federal government. A delegation from the Kurdistan region visited Baghdad on Monday and agreed with Baghdad on the issues of the general budget and oil. According to the agreement between the parties, in return for sending the budget and salaries of employees of the Kurdistan region, the region will send 250,000 barrels of oil daily to the company SOMO. According to the information received, after the visit of the delegation of the region to Baghdad to agree on the issue of salaries and the budget of 2020 and the oil revenues of the region with Iraqi officials, it was agreed that at the beginning of next year and in return for sending financial dues to the region, such as salaries and budget from the federal budget 2020, the Kurdistan region January 1st, 2020 will send 250,000 barrels of oil per day to Baghdad and sell it through SOMO. Next article of interest. Government spokesman, ministerial change will include more than half of the cabinet. Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi will issue a list to replace more than half of the cabinet cabinet soon, government spokesman William Ward has said Wednesday. Warda said in a statement to the information that Abdul Mahdi is currently preparing a list to replace more than half of the cabinet, pointing out that the list will be issued soon after the completion of the selection of candidates. He added that work is continuing to complete the ministerial change quickly and the introduction of new ministers, noting that Abdul Mahdi alone concerned with the replacement of ministers only may change some of the nominees put forward at the present time. The MP of the Conquest Alliance Amir Fayez had announced in a statement earlier to the information, the completion of the Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi reshuffle and put alternative names in the event of rejection of the names of candidates, stressing that Abdul Mahdi will attend the parliament in the next few days to present his new booth. Next article of interest. The Council of Ministers of Kurdistan takes several decisions, including concerning negotiations with Baghdad. The Council of Ministers of the Kurdistan region, on Wednesday, 
its regular session chaired by Prime Minister Masroor Barzani and in the presence of his deputy Kuba Talibani. At the outset of the meeting, the Prime Minister highlighted the visit by the U.S. Vice President to Erbil, which showed the important role played by the Kurdistan region in the region. The results of the meetings held by the delegation of the Kurdistan regional government in Baghdad were discussed after the members of the delegation presented a detailed report on the developments of the negotiations, which came under the direct supervision and guidance of the Prime Minister. The Council of Ministers praised the progress made in the talks on the draft budget, which is still being prepared by the Iraqi Ministry of Finance and confirmed its readiness to implement the obligations of the Kurdistan region in return for securing its rights and financial dues in the interest of the common interest of both sides. To Baghdad next weekend. In another paragraph of the meeting, Minister of Finance and Economy Awat Sheikh Janab reported on the mechanism of implementing the cabinet decision to return all imports to the Ministry of Interior and spending as needed in order to facilitate the work of ministries and projects within the framework of privacy and powers. Meanwhile, Minister of Municipalities and Tourism Sassanani spoke about the project of water meters in houses. With 340 million diners and an annual rate exceeding 124 billion dinars, causing the loss of 40 megawatts of electricity daily. The Council of Ministers expressed its support for the continuation of the project of erecting a water meter for each house, and called on citizens to shoulder their responsibilities in preserving water as a national wealth and end its waste because of the large costs incurred by the government. At the end of the meeting, Minister of Electricity Kamal Mohamed Saleh presented detailed and detailed explanations on the reasons for reducing the hours of supply of electricity to citizens from the national system, which is facing pressure due to excesses and increasing demand with low temperatures in winter. Next. Next article of interest. Abadi warns of the danger of procrastinating the demands of citizens and circumvent them. The head of the Victory Coalition, Haider al Abadi, warned of the danger of procrastinating the demands of citizens and circumvent them. This came during a meeting in his office in Baghdad. On Wednesday, Turkish Ambassador in Baghdad Fadil Diz and his delegation. A statement issued by his office, which received a copy of the Euphrates News, said that during the meeting discussed relations between the two countries in various sectors and ways to improve them in addition to reviewing the overall situation in the country and its internal and external effects and the situation in the region. Abadi stressed that peaceful demonstrations and the demands of the true citizens must be heard and achieved and a revolutionary reform after the many setbacks, which we warned of from the beginning indicating the seriousness of the proclamation of these demands and circumvent them. Next article of interest. Next Saturday is scheduled to vote on the election and commission laws. 1425, 27th November 2019 MP of the State of Law Coalition Mansur al Beji. On Wednesday, the completion of the legal committee of the legal drafting of the draft election law and the electoral commission and send them to the presidency of the council to be included in the agenda of the meeting next Saturday. al said in a statement to the information, the legal committee has finished the legal drafting of the draft election law and the commission's law and sent them to the presidency of the council for the purpose of voting on them. al said, the inclusion of the two draft laws in the work of next Saturday's session, noting that the two draft laws will provide a good presence for the independents in the next session. The House of Representatives discussed, on Monday, the draft law on parliamentary elections, as part of the Parliament's efforts to legislate reform laws that flow in the context of responding to the demands of the demonstrators. Next article of interest. Alga and me to a senior U.S. official keen to equip the Iraqi army with sophisticated weapons. Army Chief of Staff General Othman al and me received on Wednesday the Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, the U.S. Ambassador and the Commander of Coalition Forces in Iraq and Syria and his accompanying delegation. During the meeting, according to the statement of the Ministry of Defense, discussed and discussed the prospects for cooperation and coordination between Iraq and the United States in the military field. At the beginning of the meeting, 
the Chief of Staff welcomed General Milley and his accompanying delegation at the Ministry of Defense. In addition to supporting the most important area, but it is the training and development capabilities of Iraqi forces according to the Defense Ministry plan and the Presidency of the Army Staff, long term, in order to rebuild and organize all segments of the Iraqi Army and its types in cooperation with coalition forces. He said through his speech, the guest we are keen to equip the Iraqi army is armed with modern and sophisticated weapons and equipment. For his part, General Milley expressed his delight at this meeting, which confirms the continuation of cooperation and partnership between the two sides, praising the heroic role of the Iraqi armed forces that confronted terrorism and managed to defeat it and expel it from Iraq, stressing at the same time, the firm and strong commitment of the United States towards Iraq. Next article of interest. Al-Shamari reviews with the Joint Chiefs of Staff the positions of Iraq in the presence of senior officers. Defense Minister Naja al-Shamari on Wednesday received Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley and his party. During the meeting, the positions in Iraq and the regional region were reviewed, a ministry statement said. They also discussed ways to strengthen military relations in various fields and joint cooperation in the field of training, armament and capacity building, in the presence of senior officers in the Ministry of Defense. Next article of interest. U.S. Army Commander. Obstacles in Iraq are caused by corruption and foreign influence. The head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General. Mark Milley, reiterated U.S. support for the Iraqi people in their defense of a free, independent and sovereign Iraq, away from the obstacles caused by corruption and malicious foreign influence. A statement by the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, received by the Euphrates News Agency, said that General Mark Milley visited Baghdad on November 26 and 27 to discuss the strategic partnership between the United States and Iraq and the current security environment in Iraq and the Middle East. Defense Mr. Naja al-Shamari and Chief of Staff of the Iraqi Army Lt. Gen. Othman al-Ghanmi. General Milley highlighted continued efforts to strengthen defense partnerships and cooperation between the United States and Iraq, noting the importance of bilateral relations and the common goal of a united, democratic and prosperous Iraq. He also condemned the killing and kidnapping of demonstrators and activists, threats to freedom of expression and the cycle of violence. Next article of interest. U.S. activists supports the demonstrators of Iraq to challenge the soda can. U.S. activist John Felson launched the Iraqi soda can challenge on Wednesday, calling on Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch to take part in the challenge. Tear gas canisters are the new favorite way to kill civilians in Iraq, Felsen said in a leaflet today. Imagine a bullet the size of a soda can hit you. If you want to see the strength of human will in the face of injustice, look at the Iraqi youth who went out to demonstrate peacefully since the beginning of October, demanding rights and justice, and in return the regime faces murder by the most heinous ways. The challenge of Iraqi soda or hash Iraqi soda challenge is to put a soda can of tear gas near the head and take a picture and post it on social media to clarify the idea of size of the bombs suffered by demonstrators in Iraq, which often hit their bodies. Felsen appeared in a video as he wandered the streets of Hollywood carrying the Iraqi flag to show people about the demonstrations taking place in Iraq and the corresponding violence that led to many casualties among the demonstrators. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted on new news as it unfolds from Iraq. If you haven't already done so grab your free trial copy of the CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning, the link is in the description box below. Remember to stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power. More articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Denarian.